Now, according to a new study, staying optimistic helps you to fight disease. Scientists tracked the outlook and immune system of 124 students over the course of a year and discovered that those who were feeling more optimistic also displayed stronger responses to a challenge on their immune system. However, figures out today reveal that we're turning into a nation of pill poppers, with the number of prescribed medicines dispensed per person rising from 8 to more than 16 a year. So... What are we like, ladies, as patients? Are we guilty of uh, popping a pill at the first sign of sickness? Um, no, I don't. I mean, I won't surrender to minor ailments, and I do sort of, you know, soldier on. But if I do think there's something wrong with me, and, you know, I, I think that human beings are quite instinctive in that sense, and I think if, if there is something wrong with you, you kind of know. And I do, I do yeah. go to the doctors, you know, when I need to. I wouldn't say it was all the time, and I'm certainly not really a hypochondriac, even I say not really, because... <laughs> <laughs> A lot of people think I am, but I'm not, but because I'm quite persistent. But I have to say, this isn't all doctors, you know, because you never get to see the same doctors anymore. Some of the doctors I have seen have been rather too um, quick with the prescriptions, yeah. if you like. And sometimes for, you know, fairly harsh antibiotics, which I think antibiotics are, if they're over-prescribed and people take them too often, you know, we know for a fact that they, they can destroy your, Im your yeah. immune system. And when you do need them, mm. really need them, they won't they work. work. So, mm. I, you know, I will put off taking anything and I, I won't even take a headache tablet until, you know, I can't stand it yeah. anymore. I'll try other things, you know, drink water. Yeah. Usually that yeah. gets rid of a headache. Well, I think so, that's, that's such a fantastic attitude. I know my husband would love you as a patient, Carol. I'm sure he would. <laughs> but for, uh, for no. many... No, he would. He would, love. He would love. Is, I mean, your health is well, your you own... <laughs> Don't you know him, if you're nice to him. Uh, but I, I think it's really important, you know, to take responsibility for your own health. I mean, your, your doctor's is, there yeah. to advise you, not necessarily to make the, the, de the decisions for you. But make no mistake, for many people, particularly the elderly, their lives have been transformed by yeah. tablets, by drugs. And, you know, many elderly people's lives have been uh, extended dramatically by the incredible advances that we've had in our health service. Because, you know, it really, really is an in incredibly successful service and I know from my husband that you know he, he tries and all doctors try to prescribe rationally for people so they get the right drug for the the right person mm. but at the end of the day the NHS is a cost contained service it's very successful it's very well funded but there are there are more cures but more people and you know those cures have to be to be spread around and all of us all of us, doctors and patients alike, really do have a duty to use the NHS properly. And yeah. I think you are, and I think that's great. I, I also think, I mean, it is a mindset. I think positive attitude helps with everything. And unless, you know, you've got an infection like my spider bite I had not oh, so long yeah. ago, you need antibiotics. <laughs> we won't go there today. <laughs> I'll tell you about it Only another day. I'll tell you about it another day. But, I mean, I was pumped full for, for 10 days full of antibiotics because I knew that I needed it. But they, they, did, they do make me poorly. So I try, I mean, my, my sister would quite happily pill pop, I think. Um, and I used to when I was younger. But I do think after, I, when I was feeling very low after I had Jake, you know, went to the doctors and I, 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 didn't, I didn't stop crying for three months. So she, she did give me some tablets. But I sat there and I looked at them and I thought, do I really want to do this? Threw them in the bin and thought, I've got to sort myself out. And I think with a positive attitude, you can get to a point. Well, that's a brilliant yeah. illustration of, of kind of putting your mind over matter first. I mean, Prozac helped an awful lot of people. Um, but yeah, you're right. I think if it's something you feel that you can cure yourself, yeah. then you have to be yeah. your Should own doctor. Try. Definitely. And, and be, you take responsibility for your own health in that respect. But there's no point in kind of, I can't bear this, t it tends to be a very male attitude of, you know, seeing an illness through on your own, when actually a prescription and a course of, of, of penicillin antibiotics could clear you up and sort you out. And of course, if you actually need them. If but, you need you know, them, yeah. I've had experiences where I've been prescribed something, you know, I've been tested for, for things, and then I've been prescribed something before I've even got the test results back. And, mm. and I just think, you know, a lot of people, you know, the doctor even said, oh, just, you know, you might as well just take these in case there is something there. But, but you, it destroys your immune system. But and don't you, you think? You, you, you get you, more infections. You yeah. go to a doctor and you can read whether or not you feel safe in their hands, don't you? And I'm, I'm you know, I think, again, you have to be your own yeah, doctor yeah. in pushing for a second them. opinion. Yeah. But if you don't trust majority, the advice you're getting, get a second set of advice. Yeah, but the great thing is the, the advice is there. And generally speaking, it's wonderful advice. And I think all of us as, as women, in particular, who often have two jobs to have to do, you know, the, the job at work and then the job of looking after the home. I think we rely a lot on, on the health service, and I think it's brilliant, it's there, and it's so good. You can't good for afford us. to be ill. Exactly. Yeah. I'll leave the men in charge. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, the fourth.